looking around, zooming into that point, and what do I see? Great pines. There's a winery that essentially the, the uh, yeah, the location of Greatest the Cliffs is actually in the backyard of a winery. The name escapes me, but um, so I naturally had to call them and find out if they had any uh, space available for the party they were having, and pretty much told me that they didn't have space about two hours after they announced it. So that's going to be a fun day. Well, we're, we're doing the Eclipse at a winery. Nice. Whereabouts? In uh, near Columbia, Missouri. Yeah. Cool. The ATM will be eternal. Great. The weather prospects double if you go west of the Mississippi. Yes. Yep. Um, yeah, we, uh, two of us actually have a trip planned, a kind of a, a two week cross country road trip from hopefully a good place. Uh, we're going to head out toward um, Wyoming and Oregon and, and play around out there and then do a whole bunch of stuff on the way back we don't quite know yet. That is if we don't kill each other. We're really good friends. We have slightly different political views. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what could go wrong? What could go wrong with a 14 day road trip? So, all right. So, as I put this together, um, the uh, lower pole seats and the, the upper uh, sockets are for moonlight. Um, on the original scope, you can see here I had. Uh, you know, several pieces I, you know, built for pole seats and stuff by hand. And this time I decided that um, I would, you know, to save weight and other things, I would uh, go with some manufactured stuff. So that's what I did. So. Sometimes this goes wrong. Well. Sometimes it doesn't. That time it did um, I do not have a light shroud with this tonight. Every once in a while, I don't see quite right. There we go. Beautiful. It's funny. Um, I, you know, both the 20 inch and this one, I set it up, set them both up to use digital setting circles and never put them on. Um, <clears throat> a couple of reasons I chose that. I like the hunt. Um, give me a good set of star charts or sky safari or something like that. And off I go. Um, and I also uh, can get the 20 inch out of the back of my truck set up and ready to go, collimation and all, before my buddy with his 10 inch Schmidt has everything set up and aligned. Here we go. Ben, can I borrow you for a second? Spotlight. <laughs> can you hold this for me, just like that, please? Yep. Thank you. I normally have an eyepiece case that does that. We'll talk about your contract in a few minutes. <laughs> um, so what I'm putting on the bottom of the telescope are counterweights. That's by design. Um, I worked very hard on the original design of this telescope and the 20 inch to make sure that it never had to use counterweights. Um, <clears throat> a lot of math ahead of time. And uh, as I hang these, I'll tell you what I mean. When you build a big 20 inch telescope, uh, when you build a big 20 inch telescope, you actually have to build the mirror box, which takes about 30 hours of time. You actually have to build the mirror box two inches too deep. Do the rest of your math to determine where you think that that thing needs to be set for depth so the telescope will balance. And then you take that 30 hours worth of work, you throw it on the table saw, and hack off the bottom and hope you were right. <laughs> um, both the 13 and the 20, I got right on that. Dumb luck. Uh, a lot of math, having to weigh wood and do other things. It's awesome. You can look on that. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks. Oh, I was waiting for that. 